Friends, our next book is Power Up your incredible, spectacular, supercharged body. So this is all about how your body uses energy to do things. It takes energy to do anything. Even reading this book is gonna take energy. And where do we get that energy from? We get it from the foods that we eat. So like this morning, I had a muffin and it's given me energy to read this book to you. Power up. Do you want to hear something incredible? You are a fireball. No, really. You are a walking, breathing, laughing, singing, shining star. Look at your pinky. That little finger has enough energy to light up one of the biggest cities in the world for an entire day. That's power for four million refrigerators, seven million TVs, 1,800 schools, and about 12,000 stoplights. Who would have thought that your little finger had that much power in it? So why can't you just power your toys or nightlights or games as if you were a battery? Because you can't flip a switch and turn your pinky power on and off, and that's a good thing. Because your body needs all the energy it's got. Because everything you do, even if you don't know you're doing it, takes energy. Just reading this page requires energy because your eyes are absorbing light beams and kind of, kind of like backwards lasers. So you have to look at the letters and your brain is understanding what they are. You're using energy. Muscles and bones need energy too, so that your body can dance and swim and run, run, run. This has lots of little captions on it about the bones. You're born with 300 bones, but over time, some of those fuse. Eventually, you will have 206. The hyoid is the only bone not connected to another bone. The stapes is the smallest bone in your body. It's inside your ear. The funny bone isn't a bone. It's just a nerve. So if you hit your elbow, you hit your funny bone. It's not really a bone. The strongest bone is the femur, which can resist a force of up to 2,500 pounds. The hands, fingers, and wrists are where you have the most bones in the body, with 54 in all. You have at least 640 muscles and might even have as many as 850. Scientists are still arguing about what should be called a muscle. The stapedius is the smallest muscle. It's inside your ear, kind of like the smallest bone is inside your ear. The jaw muscle is arguably the strongest in your body. Wow, so what helps you chew your food is the strongest. Your heart is a muscle. It pumps about 1,500 gallons of blood a day. Your digestive muscles help you throw up when you're sick. Ugh. Yay. The calf has seven muscles. They help you point your toes. The gluteus maximus is the largest muscle. And boy, can you run. Even the cheetah, the fastest mammal on earth, can only maintain bursts of speed for a short distance. But a human once ran 310 miles in three days without stopping. Shoo, I don't think I could run that far. But maybe. Why bother stopping when you can keep running, playing instruments, building cities, baking cakes, and searching the sky for other planets like Earth? All those things use energy. The thing is, we have to stop at some point. Our bodies need to rest and recharge. How to recharge your body? Eat, sleep, exercise. A recharged body means a well-fed brain, which is the true superpower inside you. Your brain is your superpower. So, fast, witty, brilliant, your brain is a discovery-making machine. Amazing discoveries, electricity, viruses, evolution, Jupiter, black holes, the speed of light. So many things that your brain can do. 
every day while you are blinking 15,000 times and walking 10,000 steps, smiling 400 smiles, sleeping 10 hours, and brushing your teeth at least twice, your brain is expanding and growing and putting two and two together. And whatever you did or will do today will help you discover or invent the next great thing. So like when I say that we're learning something every day or that you don't already know it all because you're still in school, that's what that means. You're still learning. You're still getting ready to make those big discoveries. Remember, your mind and body are hungry for energy. You need to feed them books, eat broccoli, stare at the stars, run in place, share with friends, count to 100, learn a song, find your sock, and ask your mom and dad why, 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 until they are tired of answering you. Why? But don't ever in your life stop because that's how you become a superstar and light up the world. So, I enjoyed this book about what gives you energy. I'm sure that you have lots of energy since you've been staying at home. So think about the ways that you can recharge your body and how you can make your brain grow.